give an idea okay i'll give an idea about this option of public administration correct so how many are you from engineering background here okay others are from arts and science correct so remaining are arts and science anyone from administration as a graduation no okay you are from grad okay so if you take this term public administration first we understand that term what is administration is then we'll go for the term what is then we go for the term what is public administration means okay so if you take this term administration to give an understanding of this so in college days what are the most important day college days farewell okay farewell is not important so what like important day in college days is if you are if you are uh, if you are doing your graduation what important day? every year some days there what are that important days so cultural days there correct so in a given year they will have a cultural day so cultural day you can see that uh, most of the students like it assume that you are the head of the student organization and school college principal will call and say that we are going for a cultural day event so what the next thing he ask he or she ask us so so one first and foremost thing is a date will be given to you so this is the dates you are going to do it then what other things they focus on what other things they focus on there is apart from that is that they ask you to assign the task between different departments assign the task in what sense so you want to plan what you want to plan here is what you want to plan for the cultural days so uh, you want to determine what are the events need to be conducted correct and cultural event also what the next thing you try to do is you try to call it uh, call people from other colleges different colleges are being called for it correct then apart from this what are the most important thing in cultural day event is chief guest is one you want to decide your chief guest correct mostly it will be senior stars only correct trying to find some senior stars okay then apart from this that there will be one group of people working for it okay then what other thing is so next most important thing is sponsors so you want to find some sponsors for the cultural event correct similarly for example one is one is date other than this assigning the task okay determining the things correct determine the events and another most important thing is chief guest next most important thing is uh, finance correct finance is nothing but what we called as sponsors so uh, mostly there will be a group of student go and find some sponsors and mostly who will be heading that sponsor team is so go going and finding some sponsors means mostly in college huh? communication is one apart from communication there is some other people will be always roped in for it board members all college will be there similarly you can see that uh, people from business backgrounds correct so who will be called some of your friends will be with business background they will take the responsibilities correct so that is one and apart from this your also most important thing is decide on food correct menu all these things are there so this is the things what we have done done in our life this is nothing but what we called as administration is and if you want to put in very technical terms what we call this as planning delegation these are technical terms delegation coordination budget so all these are the technical terms we used in administration as so the same thing is done by the government we call it as public administration so for example if we take government in the sense is is that government plan the things is government plan the things what need to be done correct so can i even say what is the biggest ambition of the government is by 2047 check what is india in 2047 is 2047 is a 100 years of our independence correct that is correct and what is the primary objective of the government by 2047 is check what is that thing is what indian government plans for it self sustaining one and most important thing is by 2047 indian government says that we should be a developed economy 
can understand the point. So right now, what the current status of India is? We are a developing economy. When we can become a developed economy? Any idea? Anyone knows that? Most people are preparing. It's not uh, related here. So what is anyone knows when it became a developed developed economy? Yes. Any indicators for it? Exports. Most important thing is there is employment is there. There's an idea called per capita income. Check what is India's per capita income is. So per capita income means every Indian how much they earn in a given year. It will be given in dollars. So what is the per capita income of India? Uh, 8,000 dollars, huh? No. 8,000 dollars means India is very good. So right now we are very close to 2,500 dollars. Check what is the per capita income of a developed economy. There is some limit is there. Once you cross that limit, you are considered to be a developed economy. Is that you got anything related in the range of 11 to 12,000? So, so whenever per capita income is very close to 12,000 to 15,000 dollars, that is called as developed economy. Good example, check what is US per capita income is. If you are in US, what is per capita income is? So on an average, if you are in US, any any family will be earning very close to 70,000 crore. So 70,000 dollars, not crore, 70,000 dollars. US is considered to be one of the largest economy in the world and also they consider to be developed economy. And here comes the role of government. Government will plan the things to achieve that India is a developed economy and they are doing a lot of initiators. Any one or two examples that strikes the mind is where government is planning to make India's developed economy. Any one or two examples in the last four or five months of current affairs reading and all. Atmanirbhar Bharat is one. And lo lot of infrastructures are developed by the government. Infrastructure means examples of infrastructures like road network, rail network, ports, all are being developed so that we can develop an economy. Government focuses on planning a lot. Similarly, if we take budget. So last year budget was announced. Budget is in India given by Union government and also by State governments. Check what is the size of union government budget is. Simple way of saying budget is what is your income source and where is your expenditure. And say so check what is the size of Indian budget is. Every year when Indian finance minister makes a budget, so what's his what's the amount of money being dealt in that budget is? Is that you got some numbers? 40? 48 will be less. 48 lakh. Okay, approximately 48 lakh crore. And if you are Indian finance minister, every year in budget, you are going to decide what you are going to do with this 48 lakh crore. Simple way of saying is, in your family, you can see most of the time mothers will be doing a budget. What she will do is, in a month, what are the income we are going to get and where we want to spend the money. Similarly, finance minister, what are the money she is determining is 48 lakh crore for every year. Can you understand the point? So, there comes the role of government in this. And delegation is nothing but giving powers to others. What we have put it as assigning the task. Okay. And in any system, one person can't do everything. You want to give the powers to some other ones. Good example for this thing is right now we say Prime Minister and as per polity classes, Councillor Ministers. Why we have Councillor Ministers is simple logic. Poi primary simple logic is Prime Minister can't do everything. Can a a Prime Minister can be a Finance Minister, Defence Minister, Foreign Minister, nothing, correct? So he want to give the job to some other and something goes wrong in that aspect. Who is ultimately answerable is so is the prime minister. So that's the idea of delegation. But we say it as assigning the task in your cultural events, correct? 
So all these are being determined. For example, if you take Indian government chief guest, which day you can see that in newspapers a lot. There is one, one important day on which Indian government celebrates and they'll determine who should be the chief guest for it. So Republic Day. So Republic Day, another important day of Indian uh, government is Independence Day. So and especially for Republic Day, they want to decide who should be the chief guest. Is. Okay. And most of the time, who are the people they always focus a lot is in global affairs. Anyone knows this term called P5? Check what is P5 is. Yes. Most of the time, Indian government try to rope in this P5 members or they also find some others also. There is no opportunity for that. So P5 is primarily focused on UN Security Council. In this one country will not be there. Which country will not call them as a chief guest? China will not be there, correct? So remaining four members we try to rope in. Either it will be US or France or UK, correct? Or Russia, they, we try to put them in, correct? So this is a very basic understanding what is public administration means. So any government activities, if you want to put it in simple terms, start with planning, coordination, budgeting, all these are being done. This is a very basic understanding. And public administration priority objective is always focusing on the welfare of the people. And here you need to differentiate from business administration. Business administration's priorities, if you are Ambani, what's your priority? To make money. But government's priority is always welfare. A good example of this welfare is take the concept of Corona time, correct? In Corona time, if you want to make a test for Corona, in private hospital, what are the cost is? It ranges. What are the cost? Anyone have an idea? Anyone able to remember in private hospital how much they charged for testing Corona? So around 3,000 to 4,000, correct? In government, can you give a testing in government also? Yes, you can give. What are the cost for it? Cost is zero. You doesn't need to pay any money. Go to the facility, give your samples. They say within two days, we will give the results to you through your mobile itself, correct? Can you understand the point? So this is the concept of welfare, simple way of understanding this. Any government's activity is primarily focused on welfare. This is a very basic understanding. Similarly, if you take public administration, paper one and paper two. So paper one got 12 units. Paper two got 14 units. Paper one is mostly theory or simple way of understanding is concepts. And paper two is more about applied area or we call it as Indian administration. Indian administration. So what we see as a theory in paper one, we'll see that application in paper two, correct? To give a good example of it, what is paper one and paper two and all? So we'll take some thinkers. Thinkers are nothing but the people who contributed for the subject. Okay. So we take an example of Weber. So Weber spoke about the concept or what technically we call it as bureaucracy, but if in common man terms, for example, take an example of civil services. Right now what you are appearing for the examinations, correct? But he says civil service means domination. So what the term called domination is? So what the term called domination means? We use it in our personal life a lot. What is domination is? Controlling is one. Okay, any other way of understanding the term domination in our life? So with whom we use this term domination? Personal life I'm asking. With whom we use the term domination is a lot. So less power than us, they'll criticize you. We will dominate. Okay, that is okay. In your personal life, with whom you use this term very frequently? Sister brother. Sister, sister, brother, brother, especially their elders. Okay, elder brother and elder sister. Most of the time parents, correct? And mostly with the mother, correct? You are dominating me. Which situation will you use it? What situations you use it? Okay, you are dominating me. You are not listening to me. Where, where, which situation is like that? Mostly we can see that 
when the mother will come and say you need to do like this most of the time they will not come and disturb you assume that you are going for some important function family function or something like that correct or the next thing the mother will say is wear a dress like this correct and if you are a guy have a haircut like this and another another aspect is come on this time and what color dress you should not wear most of the time what color is you not as a black color correct but for your age you love black color and once you put a black color what the next comment of the mother is grows goes from soft uh, soft speaking to every every direction correct so then after a point of time you say why you are dominating me okay similarly what weber says is any civil service he say a term called bureaucracy any civil service is example is civil service for bureaucracy should dominate good example for this is a reality of modern day india is civil servant dominating us yes or no is civil servant dominating us the very basic question is when i see a government official whether you have the feeling of friendly character or you getting feared yeah. every common man in india whenever they see a civil servant they will not think like a friend correct but the biggest point in our mind is so getting into fear they think what we doesn't know what will happen to our life correct and which system is a good example for in which system it's a very visible is in which police system correct and why police are known for this why police are known for this there are times where we can see that police going beyond their required duties correct sometimes it hurts the people to the core any such incident in tamil nadu that's right exam it's all negative examples to say so any any, any incident that i like that that's right exam mind is police taking the law to the extra length and it hurting the people a lot to to good incident is one anyone able to remember this custodial death benix no any able to remember this custodial in tamil nadu father and son check what that news article is check this what is just put tamil nadu police custodial death that's extreme form of domination to give an example Are you able to get this sadhan kulam issue so uh, right now our modern civil service is trying to move towards very friendly character but still we can see this domination as a basic idea and where we can see very visibly in paper to us if you go and check british administration so this you can see in history class also correct why indian hates britishers why indian hate britishers is because the primary objective of britishers is to dominate indians correct any good examples one or two policies of britishers like that to dominate indians to dominate indians they never care about indian mindset indian way of things indian likes and dislikes they never care care about it they say as we like it you do it what a good example like that in british british times most of the national movement are based on that influence only so what is it racial discrimination is one uh, another great, great example is if you take 1857 revolt first war of independence correct what is the flash point for when it all started when it all started is when it all started is flash point for this 1857 revolt is is that history started for you no 1857 revolt where, where it all started is anyone able to remember so in the british army they introduced some uh, military equipment which is made of pig and cow fat for indians why these two animals are important is hinduism cow is a god and for islam pig is not a acceptable animal correct right? and we these two other people dominating british army when people said to the british army officers we never like it but they said you do it what a reason correlation of similar to this fat issues and all you to tripadi laddu correct sandro avu nadu studied 1857 revolt only correct he came out the idea that okay that's a fat laddu will related correct so that's example of domination in paper Okay, another good example of paper one where we can relate paper to is 
For example, in paper one, there's a concept called, or there's a unit called comparative public administration. What does comparative public administration means? Name itself says, we study public administration and their unique ideas of different countries, correct? It's not that we are studying everything, we are just studying the theory. There's a theory of comparative public administration. Can you give a correlation with paper two, which you already covered in polity? Anything that's examined in polity. Comparative scheme. Sim Powers of president and governor. Great example is, if you take an Indian constitution, very basic question is, is it all our original idea? For the constitution makers sat in a room and thought that we need to have parliamentary democracy, we need to have present, is they thought. So what they did it, inspired from other constitution, correct? It's a diplomatic term. If you want to put in simple term, what we have done is, we copied from everywhere, correct? Copying is in our Indian blood. So we copied what is working across the world. We've collected as one constitution. Can you understand the point? That's an example of comparative studies. What is comparative studies means? What is working in different countries? Can we apply for India? Okay. And one good example of that idea of constitution is? One good example of that idea of constitution is? So a good example, if you take the concept of Anyone have gone through this article 21? Yes. So, uh, right to life and there's a procedure established by law, judicial review concept, correct? All took it from countries like Japan and all, correct? So, there's a prelims angle, don't worry. Okay. So, a good example is Indian constitution. Practical sense of correlation is, so what are the most important ID in our Indian life is? So, if you are in India, what is the most important ID you want to have? Without that, you can't do anything. Aadhaar. In Aadhaar, what Indian government is trying to do? In Aadhaar, what Indian government is trying to do? Apply your basic knowledge. In Aadhaar, what Indian government is trying to do? Whenever government want to interact with you based on Aadhaar, what they are demanding? Identification is okay. What, what government is demanding is? Is your name or Aadhaar number? Aadhaar number. Why Aadhaar number? Why they, ask, why they are not asking our name? When you go for any government department, they ask a document. First thing they will ask, ask is give the Aadhaar. The Aadhaar, what is the first thing official ask is? Say the Aadhaar number. Why are they demanding Aadhaar number? Already details are entered. My very basic question is, you have a name, right? Why they are not asking your name? Why government is asking the other number. It says unique ID. What is the importance of the term unique here? Because under other, for every citizen, what government has given us? One number which is not being repeated. What about name? So, what are the common name? Right now, if you, take, if you are in Tamil Nadu, what are the common names? Raja is there. Apart from Raja, Gautam will be there. Correct? Karti will be there. If you ask in a class of 100, ask twice the class, hands with Karti, na, 10 people will be there. For girls, what are the common names? Common names? Priya will be there. Correct? For government, it creates headache. Correct? If you ask Priya, means 10 people are raising their hands for the government. They doesn't know to whom they want to give the benefits. That comes the idea of Aadhaar. But the question is, Aadhaar is not an Indian idea. Can anyone have an idea which country got the similar idea of Aadhaar? Already working there. We studied that model thinking that, okay, this is working there. We will take and put in India. Anyone knows that any countries like China, so America. Green card is different. Your example is correct, US. Check what is US, S, S, N, N, S. Check what is US S S N. What expansion of S S N is? Social security number. 
if you are landing in US, assume that you are a US citizen, US government will give you a number to you. That number is for your life. When now government won't interact with you, they interact only based on a system. That is what Indian government is doing under the concept of Aadhaar. Can you understand the point? With Aadhaar, can government know everything about you? Yes or no? Can you give one or two examples how government will know everything about you based on Aadhaar? One is Aadhaar and bank account. Is that they know their financial life of you? What is financial life is? Through Aadhaar number. Assume that you are the authority. You are working for CBI. And you think that I am involving in a financial fraud. What is the next thing you want to do? Whether you want to call me and ask a question? No. What is the next thing you want to do is? Get my Aadhaar number. Put it in the system. It will show for last one year or last 10 years what I have done. Your financial life is given under one number. Similarly, another good example of Aadhaar in social life is, can they track where you studied? In all important institutions, they are asking Aadhaar number, correct? Assume that you enrolled in a college, they ask the Aadhaar number. They just type the Aadhaar number. They know where you studied. Is it helps the government or not? Idea of the government is to help the common man also, correct? But how government use, that's a different term. Can it help the government? Yes, government can know very well about us. And what the biggest advantage for the government is? They can determine the policies. What determine the policies means? Assume that they take, collect the Aadhaar number of entire Annanagar. Okay. Is people well off here or not? Comparatively well off or not? Is that we need to have a ration shop here? No. So government will say, we doesn't need to have a ration shop in Annanagar because we know the details that all are well off or per capita income of Annanagar is very good. I'm just giving an example. That's the advantage of Aadhaar. And this we take it from the idea of US social security number. Okay. So this is an idea of paper one and paper two. Paper one we study as a theory. Paper two we apply in Indian systems. You can understand the point. And there are 12 units in paper one and we have 14 units in paper two. You can understand the point. Any clarification until now? And if you take public administration, public administration can be majorly understood in two dimensions. One as activity, another as discipline. Discipline is nothing but subject. What is activity means, good example of understanding this is, right now modern day public administration, which technology influences a lot? Right now which technology influences a lot in public administration or in a common man's life like us, which, which is a major technology is? So, I think you came across this term called AI. Is Indian government using AI? Yes or no? The answer is yes. Indian government is using AI. Check Indian Railways and AI. Indian Railways and AI. Is Indian government using AI or Indian Railways is using AI? All government departments are using AI, right? And if you want to put in simple terms, what is AI is? What is simple terms AI means? Simple terms. If you want to say to a common man, what is AI? Artificial intelligence. If what was a common man way of explaining AI to a common man is. So whenever in a system, who will make all the decisions? All these humans. The same decision is done by technology or computers, we call it as AI. Is that a huge application is there in the government? The answer is yes. Simple example is, right now you are an IRS, Indian Revenue Services and you are part of IT, that is income tax. Can AI help you or not? The answer is yes. 
how it can help us assume that a person is paying 10 years of income tax last 10 years he is paying income tax correct in this year payment of income tax there is some huge variation assume that for last 4 years or say 8 years he paid income tax for 1 crore right now he is paying income tax only for 10 lakh or reverse it for last 8 years he is paying income tax for 10 lakh Suddenly he is paying income tax for 1 crore. This as a human you want to sit and watch, correct? What AI will do is, what AI will do is, take all the 10 years of data, compare it and what it will say to the uh, individuals? Or what, uh, there are two individuals, one this is a variation, other individual is paying income taxes for the same value for all 10 years, which you should give greater attention as. Which you should do or give a greater attention is one or two, citizen one or citizen two, citizen one, because greater variation is there. And what AI will do is collect all these things and come to you and say that please note this person. Or else, what you want to do is you want to sit and watch all the hundred people to know what the variation is. Right now, in government, they're using all these things. That all comes under the concept of activity. What is subject is nothing but what we see is paper 1 and paper 2. That's a very basic understanding. Okay. Next, I'll say what are the challenges of this option. The very basic challenge of this option is as you are from, if you are from science background, anyone from physics, chemistry, similar to it, max. Okay. So mostly when you are from science background, the biggest challenge of this option is school and college days. How we study this, especially from science background like engineering or um, physics, maths and all. Whenever we write an answer for a question, what the first thing we try to identify is, the first thing we always try to identify is, we try to find some definition. That's the mindset of writing an answer. Where this option that is not required, it's more about understanding the concepts. For that candidates, it will be a little bit of challenge there. Okay, to get a grasp of what to write, especially for that, what we are planning is every week we will have a test on one day, what we have completed it. Okay, I will say how the classes will be handled. So that's the first biggest challenge for any candidate. Second is the most important thing is uh, writing skills. What are the aspect of writing skills? You want to write coherently. What is coherently in the aspect is uh, whenever you watch a movie, what the best thing of any movie is, can you relate all the scenes there? Simple or logic of understanding is, can you mute a movie and sit and watch and understand the concepts or understand the movie? You can do it. Most of the movies will be based on it, correct? First few minutes they introduce the characters, then you can see the introduction of the characters and how they interact with each other. End of the movie you know what happened. That is what expected in civil service answer writing also. That is the requirement in public administration also. GS also that is the requirement. So that is the second challenge. Third one is this option is primarily related with dynamic character. What does dynamic character means? What is happening around us that will be converted as a question where current affairs need to be there. Okay. We will see how we are planning the classes based on this challenges. But what are the merits in this option is first and foremost important merit is it has a limited syllabus compared to other options. Syllabus are very much limited. You can see that in your uh, uh, comparative dimensions also. Another important aspect is syllabus of public administration overlaps with GS syllabus. Especially if you go for paper 2. Check what is syllabus of public administration paper 2 is. Syllabus of public administration paper 2. So online candidates, any clarifications or doubts you can ask. So what is syllabus of uh, evolution? Just go through the topic name so that you can get an understanding. Just go through the topic names. Just topic name is enough. There are 14 units will be there. Just go the topic names, what they are given there.
so where you can see the overlapping with gs syllabus is under polity will be there correct internal security will be there if you take law and order administration so internal security correct so there is a great degree of overlapping with gs syllabus and every option has this overlapping but the question is if you go and check any public administration paper to you give it to any candidates preparing for civil service they can write an answer then how your answer should be different is because this question seems to be a simple gs question you want to integrate with paper one ideas can you can you understand what i'm saying is that only makes the answer public administration answer or it will be a, like a gs answers that differentiation you need to understand so greater or oh, syllabus overlapping is there and apart from this what are other advantages for all based on this option is what a last stage of civil service selection process interview stages once you go for interview stages they will ask you questions and what they want to test you in that interview stages is whether you'll be apt for civil service or not and public administration basic ideas after getting the services what you are going to do so the way of answering in interviews based on public administration is very different when compared with other option because most of the time interview questions are aligned with administrative angle but administrative angle means good example they will ask you a question assume you are sp of a district what do you do with administrative knowledge public administrative knowledge you are better able to answer the questions very effectively that is another advantage even after getting into services first 3 to 4 months is called as foundation courses in that public administration is one paper and another thing we don't know it's going to happen or not in future if they want to remove the options so right now we have one options initially we have two options that was removed and made as one option even if they want to remove this one option in future what are talks is public administration will be one compulsory paper right now we have gs paper 4 correct and they make public administration as a compulsory paper and removing all the options this is another possibility is there we doesn't know when it is going to happen chances are similar to it okay so this are some of the advantages of this option okay compared with the other options okay any specific doubts you want to ask any specific doubts or clarifications you want to ask i'll then i'll say how the classes will be fo uh, focused on all those things any specific doubts or clar uh, clarifications you have us anything online candidates anything you want to ask any doubts or clarifications so in this option based on understanding of the concepts and basic writing skills you can get 240 to 250 with the condition concept clarity and basic writing skills last year we have candidates who got into services with the marks of 286 and all that is also possible when you have upgraded your writing skills and concept clarity can you understand the point this possibility is there minimum mark you can get 240 requirement is you want to complete the question paper and you want to align the answer as per the expectation of the question so that is the requirement okay this possibility is there it all depends upon how you understand the concepts okay any other doubts or clarifications apart from anything you want to ask anything you if you want you can ask me i'll clarify it one is regarding marks any other thing apart from this and please understand for upsc and especially for public administration concept clarity is required you doesn't need to memorize anything like school or college days can okay, understand basic information and fact you want to know beyond that is that i want to memorize 10 pages no study 10 pages understand the concept write it in your own administrative terms upsc expects that answers only they doesn't want a person who is good in memorizing 
even for GS and options also, especially for public administration, it's not required for you to memorize a lot of things. There will be some unique terms which is not required to memorize. I can promise you on that. Any other thing apart from this? Any specific doubts or clarifications? You can ask anything. Nothing is wrong. Online any doubts or clarifications? So, how we are planning our classes is, our class timing is, so 2.30 to 5, so you have this class timing generally, okay. And any given week, we will have around three classes for first two months, after that we have four classes, this will be the flow, okay. And we are starting by the month of October, so we plan in such a way that November, December, Jan, Feb, Max, Feb will finish off, Feb first we will finish off, okay, Max is Feb first week, okay. So this is an extreme thing I'm saying. So Feb is an extreme thing I'm saying. So just you can plan the things. Okay. And how classes will be handled is by 2.30 what we'll plan, do is on that day's newspaper we'll take one or two articles which is aligned with public administration and we'll spend 10 minutes related to it. What are key ideas of that news article? How we can relate with the paper 1 and paper 2. So that will be the first 10 minutes. As the class from 2.30 to 5, until 3.30, we'll have our paper 2. Our 3.45, we'll have a paper 2. There will be a 10 minutes break. After that, we go for our paper 1 until 5 o'clock. So it will be the class sessions, 2.30 to 5. So two and a half hours, 10 minutes break will be in between there. 10 minutes will be focusing on current affairs. And after two weeks of the sessions, what we will plan is, we will have test on one day out of the week. That will be for half an hour max. We have one or two questions where you won't write. We will see the answers and the answer sheets will be given by the next week with the feedback and all. That be the test series. And in a given month, one day, especially half an hour, we'll spend on Yojana and Gurushetra. Okay. This will be the class four. Okay. And three to four classes per week, that'll be the maximum thing. We'll not have fifth day. Can I understand the point? Five day classes are exceptional if there is required. If there is any leave in between, unexpected leaves. What is unexpected leaves here is? Flood is the biggest problem in Chennai, right? So we need to wait for another 10 days to know what is happening here. If anything similar to that happen, if there is a break in between, we'll have fifth day. Or else, maximum is four days. And the first class starts by October 14th. Check when is that day, October 14th? Monday. Monday. Okay, and by Monday, I'll say in that week, how many classes we have. Initially, we'll start the sessions, and for first one or two weeks, we'll determine how many classes we'll have. Okay, can you understand what I'm saying? Yes. By Monday, I'll say how many classes we have for the coming weeks. That is especially that week, and after that week, we'll decide. Okay, so any other doubts or clarifications here? Online candidates? Uh, for on the first day of the classes, what I will do is, I'll explain the entire syllabus of paper 1 and paper 2, and I'll say what is the source material for public administration, and there are different source materials are there, you can make a choice out of it. Another thing is, there are some key terms in the mains questions. Is there any mains test series started for you? No. Okay. 
if you go and check all the mains question papers there are terms like comment discuss all these things i'll explain all those terms and what this term stands for and i'll give some examples for it to get a better understanding this will all be dealt on that day also i'll say what is source materials okay so advisable is if you take paper 1 and paper 2 you put separate note that will be advisable one don't write in same note because for studying it creates confusion because on a single day we will cover both paper 1 and paper 2 okay advisable is two notes okay any other doubts or clarification anything you want a specific just open up and ask nothing is wrong here anything you want to ask specifically online candidates anything you want to ask online candidates no okay here anything you want to ask apart from this so writing skills please understand for any civil service candidate even if you go and check last year's all india rank 1 if you ask them what was your first experience or what was your experience of first upsc mains test mains test i am not saying upsc is mains test first ex experience of your first question paper regarding upsc mains answer writing all will say that it was worst what is the reason for it any idea no one in india they want to write a mains answer for upsc for the first time in their life never write a perfect answer can you say why that happens no one in india anyone gold medalist school topper college topper university rank holder no one will do what what is the basic problem here because our education system is designed in such a way that which never matches with the expectation of upsc simple way of saying is think of your school days after after a topic is over what the next thing the teacher will do any any subject any classes what the next thing the teacher will do is go for the last page of the lesson read question number 1 what the next thing the staff will do is go for page number 3 paragraph 1 put a box paragraph 2 put a box and what do you want to do read question number 1 go to page number 3 by heart the two paragraphs and we write the answer but what here it happens is they ask a question in such a way that you understand the concept and how it applies in modern day sense it comes out of practice and what i always say is when you prepare for civil services writing test don't ever use it for your marks can understand what i'm saying is don't check your marks assume that i'm writing a test for mains today what i should not do is i should not go and check for 10 mark question how much mark i got what i want to do is i want to go and check what went wrong for me how i want to improve so this is more about continuous practice i can promise you anyone in india if you ask them to write the upsc mains questions they face lot of trouble even i can promise you probably they will not accept it if you ask any rank holder upsc rank holder if you are friends they will accept it outside if they will ask us no they will say no go and ask them can you write mains once again all be replies i can't do it that time i got the mark right now i can't do it can understand the point it's more about continuous pra practice thought process you should be in that ecosystem so it takes some time don't get worried for that only we have a weekly test and also i'll share some toppers answer sheets all this for reference point so that you can easily relate how to write an answer okay any other thing apart from this online candidates anything apart from this and the most important thing is be confident not for option i am saying generally for civil services be confident one thing you should not have in your civil service preparation is never ever have self doubt what is self doubt is whether i can do or not 
all are eligible for civil services only thing you want to keep in mind is how i am improving every day for the requirement of civil services that is the reason you can see in civil services people say a story like this in my 10th i am fail 12th i am fail college i got 20 arrears i cracked examination sometime people people read this news article and think in over confidence if they do it it's easy for me the answer is yes it's easy for you only thing what you want to do is on daily basis you want to practice for civil services if you do that and if you keep that in mind cracking civil service examination is very easy okay? not to worry never ever have self doubt and no one can judge you saying that you are unfit because civil service examination it is a level playing field whatever you have done in last 25 years never matters for upsc can you understand the point either in positive or negative directions not to worry every day think how i am improving towards upsc if you do that clearing of civil service is very very easy okay any other thing any doubts any doubts or clarifications online candidates so can we wind off so we have a session by october 14 230 we'll meet there okay thank you thank you thank you so online candidates any clarifications can we wind off okay then thank you i think you have all the basic details okay thank you okay thank you